The first step in being able to treat the disease is being able to detect it and characterize it. And that's some of the technology that we bring to the table. Whether it's the physics of X-ray particle movement or magnetic fields or radio frequency fields, that understanding of signals is paramount. We're measuring every single X-ray photon and quantifying its energy. So that's giving us a much richer type of information. We have been building MRI systems that's a one-size-fits-all. But then we started thinking, why don't we have a system that's specialized? What we are trying to do is get one CT scan below one millisievert. So it's less radiation than what you naturally get from walking around outside. One of the things we've been trying to do is to create contrast media using molecules and atoms that are naturally present in your body. Ultrasound devices that are so miniaturized, they fit in your pocket and give you tremendously high quality images that 20, 30 years ago you couldn't have dreamed of. Instead of using traditional mathematics and statistics, we start to incorporate neural networks to give even better images and even further reduce the radiation dose to the patient. Two of the main areas really focusing on at GRC is ultra-high field magnets as well as ultra-powerful gradients. These are the key determinants of excellent spatial resolution. It's a very high precision technology that gives us better diagnosis, better ability to see very small features. And now I can start probing the brain in a detail that has never been seen before. If you think about applying AI as a way to guide everyone to be an expert user, that puts medical imaging in even more hands and on more bodies around the world. It's not one size fits all, but more personalized and targeted towards that individual. It's really inspiring to work across those different modalities. There's this synergy that we kind of tap off each other. In the end, what matters is solving things for patients. Because the problems are just so compelling and engaging and interesting and hard. That's how you know you're in an area where you have the potential to change the world.